guys welcome to hack of the day episode 9 so in this video we are going to look at monitoring wifi client probe requests in just 10 lines of python now this free video is sponsored by security tube trainings uh, we have trainings on python scripting for hackers ios security wifi metasploit linux gdb ton of other things do check out our website and we currently have students from 73 plus countries so check out the website and the testimonials and if you like any course uh, we'd be more than happy to help you out with it okay so just like in episode 8 the hardware requirements remain exactly the same uh, have a look at video 8 in case you want any clarifications now what is it that we want to do in this video well if you remember in the wifi security mega primer we had said that client devices and that could be your laptops mobile phones anything which speaks wifi uh, keep sending out these probe requests for networks in their profile right and these are typically networks they may have connected to previously which could be home office or hotspot networks now in case you forgotten about all of that and what i really mean here check out this video which is video 1780 which contains the details about how to attack isolated clients using client probe requests now my assumption is you already understand that video and all we are going to do is automate the whole process here of finding different ssids the clients are probing for so how do we go about it okay uh let's first try and understand how probe requests look like so i'm running wireshark can you sniff on mon0 and i'm going to add a filter for probe requests so this is wlan.fc.type_subtype equals equals if i remember well 4 let's start sniffing again and if you notice we are seeing probe requests uh probe requests for broadcast are really null probe requests so if you select any of them and go to the actual tag parameters you would notice that the tag length is really zero so it's a null probe request and now you're seeing a bunch of ssids in here schneider mtnl etc perfect right so if you look at the type of the probe request packet the type is 0 which denotes a management frame and the subtype is 4 which denotes the probe request right and the source address of the client is really address 2 right the destination is broadcast uh, and the source is the client's mac address so with this knowledge let's go ahead and write a simple python script which can dump the ssids and the mac address of all clients in the vicinity which are probing of course so let's call this client probe sniffer.py now the first thing just write like we did in the previous video is to actually go ahead and include the scapy libraries so that is very simply from scapy for all import star right uh let's go ahead and define the packet handler and again if this is new go visit episode 8 which is the previous video and all of this would be clear i'm just going ahead and adding on based on the knowledge we've learned that so i'm going to create a packet handler and i'm going to put some code in here in just a bit and at the bottom i'm going to call my sniff function with i face equals mon0 which is the monitor mode interface we are interested in and then the callback handler function name is packet handler awesome now let's write out the packet handler part so the first thing to really check is if this is a dot 11 packet so which basically is if packet has layer 
dot 11. Now, Scapy has checks for a couple of subtypes as well. Uh, I think probe requests is one, but unfortunately, it does not cover all packets exhaustively in the dot 11 stack. And that's the reason why I'd like to do my check uh, simply because this is the way you can scale it to other packets, types, and subtypes, regardless of if SCAPI supports it or not. So after that is what we did in the previous video, which is if packet dot type equals equals management is zero, and packet dot subtype equals equals. If you remember, this was four as we saw in Wireshark, right? This really means this is now a probe request packet. And we could simply do a print client with ss client with mac percentage s probing for ssid percentage s. Okay, and then we could mention both of those parameters in here, which is packet dot addr two and packet dot info. There you go. Right. So this looks about okay to me. How many lines is this? Exactly 10, of course. I haven't removed the spacing and all of that. Let me just quickly run through the code to ensure there are no typos. From scapy.all, post turn, blah, 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 packet handler, packet as time. Okay, let's just do a quick run and see what happens. Okay, so if you notice, we are getting a bunch of null SSIDs as well, uh, which would be quite a lot. So let's tune this for null SSIDs as well. Uh, and really, it's pretty simple because in the case of null SSID, the SSID length would be zero. So this is going to be if packet dot info, right? Which is if the SSID exists, only then print this. And this should solve our problem now. And I can already see that you find client max probing for different SSIDs. Right? You could make this interesting and probably now you're seeing many more clients. Right, you have Schindler, Linksys, blah, 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 and there you go. Okay, moment of truth. Let's figure out how many lines this is after we remove all the formatting. Okay, this is eight lines. I think I should have modified the title. <laughs> Maybe tried the code before I I wrote the title for the video. This is really eight lines of Python code, right? Uh, absolutely fantastic. Could just make the formatting easier. Say client, just by the MAC address. And here is the SSID, right? So this just makes the output more compact because we really understand what we are doing. So there's no need for uh, too much of text in there. And there you go. Right? Fantastic. Uh, so that is really all for this video. And I think if you're interested, uh, you could go ahead and add more things to this code as well. It's pretty simple. You can type it out yourself. There's no point in me giving you a code download for this one. Right? So coming back, uh, I think you've just seen how easy it is with Python to write your own Wi-Fi client probe request sniffer. Now, one of the things I'd like to mention is if you're either new to Python scripting or to Wi-Fi security, uh, please have a look at our trainings. One is the Python security expert and the other is the Wi-Fi security expert. Now, not only are our videos and our exercises super comprehensive and detailed, uh, we also have student forums in which you can clarify your doubts, right? Which I think is really important, especially when you're learning. Okay. 
So that's all for this video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a great day ahead.